dismount his broom. Andrew bringing it back up to midfield. Cal Berkeley is still showing high uh, pressure pass at the midfield line. There are two scoots off to my right near the uh, hoops. Shows a, showing a lot of pressure at the hoops. Passing it back. He makes a run right towards the hoops. Hoop gets knocked down by Cal Berkeley. That was a nice run by Andrew. The Scroots able to capitalize on his uh, run towards the hoops. Hoop was knocked down nearest him, so he just chose the next one next uh, to it. Cal Berkeley pick up the uh, ball and reset the play. Score is now 40-10 uh, in favor of the Scroots. Cal Berkeley showing a lot of pressure on this, passing the midfield line, being protected by his beater. Passing off to the left side, passing it back towards midfield. Number 19 picks it up, center of the stage, rushing the hoops. Almost passed it on that one. Ball, uh, beater ball knocks the uh, uh, quaffle right out of the uh, keeper's hands. Trickles down for another Scroots possession of the ball. They're making an offensive push on this one. Heading towards midfield, still being shadowed by his beaters. Wow, that keeper by the Scroots was brought down by a great tackle. Scroots are trying to get possession of this. Cal Berkeley is trying to get possession. Trickles out for him. It is still a Cal ba Bears possession. He's only got one beater to beat if he can try and capitalize on this. Ball goes through the hoops. Nice lob to the far hoop. Score for Cal Berkeley, but they got to be back on defense for this one because the uh, Scroots keeper is trying to make a playoff of this one. That was great defense by the Cal Bears. The Scroots tried to make a fast break on that one, and the beater game for Cal Berkeley just knocked out those two chasers as they tried to capitalize right in front of the Cal Bear hoops. Cal Bears are still trying to bring this up or, uh, past the keeper zone of the Scroots. Pass into the backfield. Pass was just a little bit too above his head. Now it is picked up by the Scroots in their own zone. They're moving it up the field. Scroots are bringing it past their keeper zone towards midfield. Still being shadowed by his beater. Cal Berkeley wants to show a lot of pressure here as they uh, don't let the Scroots pass midfield. Passing it off to the left side to Andrew, the keeper. That was a nice tackle by Cal Berkeley chaser. Passing it out to the midfield to number 34, who has some space if he can get past the two chasers. Passing it over to number 23 off to the left side. Has to beat some chasers to get a goal. And the goal was scored as he just found some area to lob it right through the nearest uh, hoop. That is another score for uh, Cal Berkeley. Score is now 40-30. Still in favor of the Scroots, but they are just 10. Uh, Cal Berkeley is just 10 points behind. Scroots are moving it up past midfield. Again, still being shadowed by his uh, beater. Trying to find some space, and he does. Right outside of the keeper zone, at the top of the box. Pushes it right through the middle of the uh, hoops. Beater game right in front of the uh, Cal Berkeley keeper box. Trying to gain possession of all those bludgers. Cal Berkeley keeper moving past his zone towards midfield. Passing off to this right. Moving through midfield. Passing off to his keeper. Who tosses it over to 71. Who is off his broom now. That means that he has to go back and tag up. Picked up by Chewy of the Scroots at midfield. He wanted to make maybe a fast break on that one, but he saw he had to beat a beater and a couple of chasers. That is a nice offensive push by the uh, Scroots. They are packing up behind the hoops as uh, Chewy of the uh, Scroots is just trying to get past the keeper zone. Chewy is, ca uh, is uh, tackled right in front of the uh, keeper zone, but he gets the ball off which falls to back the keeper zone of the Scroots, and they reset the play. 
A Cal Berkeley uh, chaser is trying to uh, cause some havoc in the backfield, but is watched by the bludger. Andrew the Scroots is trying to make his way up midfield. Oh, he's nicely tackled in the middle, but he just gets the ball off and is picked up by Chewy in the midfield, who makes it not, ooh, tried to make another offensive run. They're getting tied up in these runs. That... Wow, Cal is making a lot of nice tackles here in the backfield against Scroots. Scroots are trying to score. That ball was maybe a shot, but it just wasn't on target for that one. We have a stoppage of play now. Oh, it is a yellow card to number... Yes. Number th uh, zero 03 of Cal Berkeley gets the yellow card. It was a tackle from behind the Quaffle. It's going to go back to its former position behind Cal Berkeley's uh, hoops into the possession of the uh, Scroots player number 51. He might be in a good position here to just make a lob and score. We'll see what happens when uh, reset of play. Number 71 at Cal Berkeley has to just do what he can to try and block this shot. He makes a run towards it. It was a tackle. But he gets it off to Andrew that was uh, far post, hops and just dunks that ball right through the uh, mid-size hoop. Picked up in the backfield by number 22, off to her keeper. They're making a keeper change on the Cal bench. Bringing it up past their keeper zone. Scroots have possession of all the bludgers, but they're making a run up here through the midfield. He gets tangled up. Ball trickles out. Number 26 uh, recovers, but gets knocked down by Chewy. Gets beat. Chewy picks up the ball, and now it is a Scroots ball once again. Scroots are trying to move up through the midfield now. Score is 60-30 in favor of the Scroots. Chaser's trying to provide a lot of room for, uh, her, for the other chaser to move up with the ball. He's just past midline right now. Makes a lob to the back and, all, and has enough of a strength to score that ball. Number 51 moved up from the back post and just catches that ball, flutters it right in. Good goal for the Scroots. 70-30 in favor. Cal Berkeley keeper recovers the ball, moving out of his zone. Tosses it to the far right side. Hopefully this uh, camera has a wide angle lens that I'm allowed to just get into frame. I'm gonna try and keep on the ball. The spinning thing is taking a little bit. Three lobs the ball to the right side. Recovered by number 32. Trickles out and kicked by number 10 of the Scroots. Given back to her keeper, and it is again Scroots ball. They're calling that it is no bludgers in the area, so it is being run up by Andrew of the Scroots, number 35. Ball trickles out. Recovered by number 10. Passing to the front. Number 10 is going to recover off to the left side, right side of the uh, Cal Berkeley area. Scroots have the ball behind uh, the Cal Berkeley's net. It's getting tangled up. Ball is intercepted in the air by the bludger. Knocked down by the scoring table. Ball is picked up. Scroots are trying to make a fast break on this one. Ball goes over the uh, hoops. Trickles out into the hard boundaries. It is going to be Cal Berkeley's ball. Cal Berkeley are making some changes. A bludger, a uh, beater, and a chaser. Oh, it looks like both uh, both beaters are coming off and two fresh legs are coming on. And one chaser. Cal Berkeley have the ball in their own keeper zone. Passes off to the right side. Moving upfield. Moving into the backfield. 
Gets beat in the backfield. Now it is again, Scroot's ball. Scroots are calling that there are no beaters. Andrew's moving up field. He may get some pace on this one if he can get some uh, area to work with. Passing off to the right side, find some space. Passing it over to his right. And Andrew picks up his own pass, or <laughs> picks up that pass to score to the near post. Good run by Andrew. Score is now 80-30, as you can see over across to the scoring desk. Cal Berkeley moving up the field. I can see movement behind the uh, scoring table. That means that the Seekers and the Snitch are getting ready to be released. Remember, the Snitch gets released one minute before the Seekers at the 17 mark of the game. That means that the Snitch is released. And then one minute later, at the 18 minute mark, the Seekers will pursue them. Remember that once the, seeker, the Seekers grab the ball, that is 30 points to the team. We are now within Snitch range for the... Uh, grab to be made if uh, Cal Berkeley grabs the ball it will only be 60 points to them if the score stands they have to put some points up onto this board right now Scroots have the ball again to the far post finds an open area for a Scroots player the defensive roll right behind the hoops they're just being able to lob it right over their heads score is now 90 30 in favor of the Scroots Cal Berkeley moving up the field to pass midpoint. Really pressing this ball. Passing it to the far post, but he just didn't get a hold of that pass. And trickles out to the uh, chasers on the scroots. They retain possession again. Calling for a left call because the scroots are now packing up behind the uh, Cal Berkeley hoops trying to find some space passing off to the right side but it's over the head of number 16 recovered by truly who tosses the ball back to center left side for the scroots pass back to midfield to andrew of the scroots he tries and makes a fake pass but i don't think anyone was buying that one He's making a run towards midfield, tries and lobs that ball to the nearest hoop, but is knocked down by 34. All right. We're back today for the Sunshine Bowl number four, Silicon Valley Scroots versus Cal Berkeley Bears. It's going to be a good match. Cal Berkeley has actually scored quite a lot, and they have some fast breaks. Silicon Valley Scroots are looking pretty determined today to win, so... It should be turning out to be a good match. Balls are being somewhat set up on the lines right now. So, we're going to be having just a little bit of a coach's uh, convening right now. Silicon Valley Scroots are lining up on their lines right now. Cal Berkeley has their players convening around the hoops, trying to come up with a game plan. They're looking pretty strong today after they reform their team. Seriously, this might be the match of the day to watch. So now we setting up the balls on the line right now. Uh, who's the head ref's name? Yeah, who's the head ref for the game? Is that Ray, the head ref? Yeah. Ray is the head ref. She's setting up the balls on the line. So it's going to be a pretty good game today. Really nice. Uh, refed by a couple of the Mission Blues who just played. And as you can see, the gentleman running across the field right now, number 16, he's going to be the scoring ref. And far off into the distance, as you can see where number six is, that is Haley of Stanford. She's been setting up this whole thing. We are very proud to be here in Stanford at Wilbert Field. This is the fifth game of the day. Pretty strong teams. Not a lot of wind at all. Nice, sunny day. It's 
anyone's match for this, really. happy to be here in Stanford. They host really great events, always keeping on about everything. Really nice, fun, they have open space field, and they're the nicest crowd to be around. Really, thank you Stanford for hosting this today. We really want to come back for Sunshine Bowl number five. January 31st, 2015. We're setting up on the line right now. Silicon Valley scroots down with the brooms down. Cal Berkeley off to the right, Silicon Valley Scroots off to the left. Head Ref Ray is talking with Cal Berkeley right now. We are getting ready for the fifth game of the day. A hush comes over the crowd as the anticipation is just, you could cut it with a knife, a really sharp knife, like one of those cutlery knives. Waiting, waiting again for the head ref, Ray. Everyone is set up on this. This is going to be, as I said, a great game to watch. Cal Berkeley won their last game. High scoring points, fast breaks. Silicon Valley Scroots did the same thing. She is calling for both sides to see if they are ready. Bears are ready. Scroots are ready. Adjusting the camera. Brooms up is called. Silicon Valley Scroots going for the ball. Picks it up at first at the halfway line. Beater though for Cal Berkeley. Stops that attack and it is now the Berkeley's ball. They're making a fast break up here through the midfield. Tossing it to the far post. Trying to score but is blocked by the Scroots uh, chaser. Tumbles out to the backfield. Now picked up by 51 of the Scroots. They are bringing it up midfield. Nice fast break on the uh, Berkeley side there, but it just couldn't pan out for them as the uh, Scroots had strong defensive role on that. Scroots uh, chaser number 51 being harassed just before the midfield by a Cal Berkeley chaser. Passes off to the right to Chewy who brings it up past midline on the right side. Tosses it over the head of number 51 towards the scorer's table. And it is recovered by the Scroots, passing it back to Chewy on the left side. Comes midfield, trying to make that attack. Still harassed in the midfield by a Cal Berkeley chaser. They don't. Uh, Scroots do not have any beaters with a ball in the midfield to protect their uh, main attacking chaser, Chewy. Chewy's making his run over here to the right side. Tries and gets beat almost by one of the beaters, but it is. We have a stoppage of play here. One of the Cal, oh, Scroots player Chewy is calling for a sub on the outside here. It is a stoppage of play though. Oh, he is being helped off the field. Hopefully he's okay. Oh, he's calling for a knee problem on that one. Number 49 is coming in to replace him right now. Head ref Ray is pulling out a yellow card, I think to Calling out a card to uh, Cal Berkeley number zero zero on that one. Chewy for Scroots is being still helped off to the sidelines. We're going to have a restart of play here. I think it's going to be Scroots ball, but I don't see the quaffle anywhere. Oh, 
It's being brought up by the Scroots. Pass to the far side. Andrew from the Scroots has enough of uh, space right next to the hoops to score that ball. Gets beat just after it to the side of his head, but it was a good play by the Scroots. Score is 10-0 in favor of the Scroots. We've had some good offensive plays on this. Scroots retained possession after the Cal Berkeley tried to make a uh, offensive push on that one. Didn't have enough on that one, but it still is early in the game. This is turning out to be, as we expected, a really exciting game. Fast pace with a lot of fast breaks. Scroots bringing it up past midline. Being defended by the Scroots beater. Beats number 0, zero. Passing off to the side to Andrew, who passes it back to his chaser. Has to dabble with it a little bit, but retains control. Passing it back to Andrew at his hoops as he tags up. Scroots again bring it back up from their keeper zone to the center line. Passing it up to his chaser at the midfield. Being harassed in midfield by number 0, zero. They have a beater chaser game right in midfield, not allowing the Scroots to uh, make any, po any possession past the halfway line here. This is a high pressure move by the Cal Berkeley players. They're passing this uh, ball back and forth between each other at the midline. Progression is very slow for the Scroots at the beginning, but really, this is a high pressure game. Now a beater comes up for the Scroots, trying to protect it, but he gets beat instantly by the uh, beaters, passing it back to Andrew at the keeper zone. Harassed by zero, double zero. Scroots are making a fast break on this one. They found some space on the left side. They score. That is now 20-0 in favor of the Scroots. The Scroots player found a lot of space as the uh, Cal chasers and beaters were focused on the upper line, uh, the high pressure roll they were uh, showing. Keeper for Cal Berkeley bringing it up uh, in the backfield, past the keeper zone of his own area towards midfield. Keeper passes it off to the left side or right side, finds some space. Oh, it just gets picked off by Andrew in the backfield in the keeper zone. Now they retain possession and Scroots are back on to an offensive roll. Bringing it up to midfield. Cal showing a lot of offensive uh, offensive pressure at the midfield. The ball is uh, knocked away by number 14 of Cal Berkeley. And a beat saves, the, uh, saves Berkeley from a great positioning of uh, Scroots number 17. They get tangled up in, uh, in front of the keeper zone of uh, Scroots. Scroots take possession again as Andrew holds the ball just outside of his keeper zone. Scroots have dominated possession here in the beginning stages of this game. They are still up, only 20 points, but Cal Berkeley, uh, Cal Berkeley can come back on this. Really showing a lot of high pressure on this uh, game at midfield for Berkeley. Fast break for Berkeley now. They have no beaters in the backfield. Has to get rid of the ball. Ball comes tumbling away out to the left side. Still being harassed right there. Making it play towards the front of the hoops. Goes over the hoops, but it is picked up by double zero behind the hoops and is plugged right through for a Cal Berkeley goal of 10 points. 10 points to Cal Berkeley. Score is now 20-10. Still in favor of the Scroots. Scroots are bringing the ball up past midfield now. All condensed there. He's got two beaters right in front of him. They're protecting him uh, from the chasers who are still haranguing him right past midfield. Coming up the left side, he lobs that ball right outside of the keeper zone of Cal Berkeley and scores, but Cal Berkeley is making an offensive push here outside the right, tosses that ball over the heads of the Scroots outside to the left. She can maybe score, lobs it to the front, trickles out, picked up by, or kicked out by number 23 to reset the play. Cal Berkeley off to the right side. Number 19, Chaser, picks it up and brings it up towards midfield. That was a nice counterattack by Cal Berkeley. Just they had a lot of defense to uh, prepare against to try and force their way through. Passing into the backfield now onto the right side, number 23. Out does a tackle. Tries and gets through the defense, but cannot. 
51 trying to make a roll past some beaters. He cannot find a way and passes it back to his uh, keeper, Andrew, in the keeper zone. Still Scrooge ball. Number 51 was beat on that play, meaning that he has to go back to his hoops, tag up before he can reach. Cal Berkeley, who's making a run up to the left side. They've got no beaters up there, but tossing it. Ah, oh, but is recovered by Andrew of the Scrooge in his own half. That is the keeper zone. He cannot be harassed there. Scrooots are making a keeper change. Ball goes back to the keeper. Getting some fresh legs on the field. The snitches, the snitch has been released and the seekers have been released. The Cal Berkeley seeker is trying to protect his uh, protect the snitch from getting grabbed before Cal Berkeley can score some more goals. But that is just another goal by Cal Berk uh, by Scrooots. And now the score is. 100 to 30. Remember, snitch is grabbed. That is 30 points to the person that uh, team that grabs it. Cal Berkeley is making another push here. Aaron throw there goes over the uh, hoops. Double zero of the Cal Berkeley recovers the ball in the backfield of the Scrooots. They're calling a hard boundaries on that, which means that the Scrooots retain possession of that ball. I'm going to go back to the uh, Seeker and Snitch game right now. The Snitch can grab the broom from the Seeker and knock him right off of it. He can do whatever he wants to make sure that that ball is not grabbed between his legs or behind his back. But yeah, that thing. Quaffle is still in the backfield of the a run right up the middle for the uh, uh, Silicon Valley Scrooots scores that goal and it is now 110 to 30. Seeker for Silicon Valley Scrooots trying to weigh his options, being harangued by the uh, Cal Berkeley beaters and the uh, Cal Berkeley Seeker. Quaffles being moved up midfield. Tossing it out to the right, trying to find some space, getting wrapped up by the keeper. Ball just come trickles out. And is recovered again by the Silicon Valley Scrooots, who have a who have some space, but the whistle is called, meaning that the uh, refs have stopped play. They have to drop their brooms and await the uh, decision from the ref about what is going on. She stopped play for a reason. I think number 19 just got like a uh, poke to the eye or something. This has been a really tough uh, snitch to actually grab here. He has played three games, and all three games have lasted a long time. Remember that after the a certain amount of time, if the snitch ball is not grabbed, the snitch actually puts an arm behind his back to try, to try and inhibit him from preventing the ball being grabbed. But again, that ball not being grabbed, the play will still keep going and going until it ends. Until it ends with that ball being grabbed. That is Liz tossing her hat off right there. She is snitch refing right now. She is still to tossing off field again. She is actually snitch refing, which means that she will watch and make sure that it is a clean grab. A clean grab of the snitch ball means he cannot grab on the snitch in any way other than the ball, meaning no tugging of the shorts, arm inhibiting the turning of it. It just has to be a clean grab. Scrooots to retain possession of the quaffle in the backfield, moving it up towards her, but is being harangued by number 23 of Cal Berkeley Chasers. I'm going to move back towards Quaffle movement. Cal Berkeley have the ball, moving it up the right side. Snitch has not been grabbed. 
Number 53 trying to grab this ball, but he tosses it over the head of his player. Recovered by Silicon Valley Scroots. Andrew of the Scroots retaining possession of the uh, uh, of the Quaffle. Moving it up past his keeper zone towards midfield. As you can see, the Seekers are trying to... Uh, well, the 71 Seeker on Cal Berkeley is trying to prevent the Seeker from uh, Scroots from uh, getting the ball. But that does not prevent the Scroots from scoring one more time, which means that that is 120 to 30 in favor of the Silicon Valley Scroots. Cal Berkeley still trying to find a goal on this one. Moving it through, finding space. Ball trickles out for him, trying to recover. Scroots ball again. We're gonna focus back onto the uh, snitch and seeker game. Andrew the uh, Silicon Valley Scroots keeper moving up through the field. Ball trickles out. It's now the, oh, they're getting tangled up. It's Cal Berkeley's ball. Cal Berkeley moving up the quaffle, number 19. Trying to find some space to pass it to his players. Avoid, oh, gets beat. Ball, ball gets picked up in the Cal Berkeley half by the keeper. Passes it back to number 19 to reset the play. We're just going to focus on this uh, snitch game right now. They have a new seeker for the Silicon Valley Scroots. It has been called that the Cal Berkeley seeker is trying to go for a suicide. That means that he will just end the play before there's too many points scored against his own team. Silicon Valley Scroots are moving it back up field, but he tosses it out. We're going to focus on this snitch grab game right here. He's trying to go for it. As you can see in the, in the foreground that Andrew of the Silicon Valley Scroots. Oh, the snitch just takes that broom away from the seeker of the Silicon Valley Scroots. Tosses it down like, no, go back to your hoops and tag up for another try at this. Ball is kicked over to the side to the keeper, or to the chaser, toss to the back, but there's no one there except for Andrew, who gets beat, and then now has to uh, go back to his hoops. Oh, we had almost a clean grab. We almost, hopefully we got that down on film. The snitch actually dropped the uh, Silicon Valley Scroot Seeker, and that gave enough of a, enough of a room for the Cal Berkeley seeker to reach around and grab that sneaker ball, that snitch ball. Very good game. That means that the score is 120 to 60. Silicon Valley Scroots win. Thank you for being here to Wilbur, the uh, Wilbur Field here in sunny Stanford. This has been a great game for you. Cal Berkeley versus the Silicon Valley Scroots. My name is Benjamin Bowles commentating for you today. We're going to be having more matches for you, but We'll be uh, signing off right now as the teams go together and shake hands for a good game played. We'll be back with more action, as I say. Be just great, great individuals, excellent individuals.